And a team from UW Milwaukee is now in Oscar is trying to determine the scope of an ancient Native American village discovered during a road reconstruction project at Menominee Park. And city officials now believe it's the largest discovery of artifacts ever in that area. In a first alert update, Jason Zimmerman is live in Oshkosh with new details from the investigation. Jason. Cammy, we're told the historic village was preserved under the road right behind me in the park that's been torn up and likely dates back to between 900 and 1600 AD. What's known as Pratt Trail inside Menominee Park is now the site of what could be the largest Native American village ever found during a construction project in Oshkosh. We have encountered things on other projects in the past, just not to this scope and magnitude. City officials say they knew the area would likely have Native American artifacts, so they notified a team from UW-Milwaukee to be on standby once road reconstruction started in August. As we started pulling back the, uh, the asphalt pavement and the little bit of base course that was under there, uh, they started finding more than, than they originally thought they might. So UW-Milwaukee's got a team out there, you know, identifying, cataloging, you know, doing their, you know, br brushing it off and trying to figure out what exactly they are uncovering. A spokesperson for the UW-Milwaukee team told us, quote, we are working with our regulatory agencies, the Wisconsin Historical Society and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources to document, preserve, and place the cultural deposits. Work will continue through the fall, end quote. As for what's been found. They're finding a lot of the signs of, like, ceramic pottery, tools, uh, things like that. The city is also working with the leaders of the Menominee and Ho-Chunk nations who've been out to the site. It's a nice flat spot adjacent to the water body. You know, and the water body was, you know, that was a mode of transportation, that was food, you know, whether it be wild rice or the fisheries uh, in Lake Winnebago. You know, so it does make sense that it was a site. The city says its preference is to keep the artifacts in place undisturbed and one possibility of doing that is to rebuild the road at a slightly higher elevation. Reporting live in Oshkosh, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.